Let's take a live look at Doko tonight as Golden One Center gets ready to shine in front of a national audience. But March Madness comes with deep concerns from both the rising homeless population and those who want to see them moved out. So how is the city preparing for the crowds while balancing the unfortunate new, new landscape dotting our downtown streets? The NCAA basketball tournament is about to take center stage, bringing thousands of people from across the country to Sacramento this week. Oh, it's huge to have that many people come here. And many downtown hotels will be filled with out-of-town players and fans. I think it's a good thing for downtown. But as fans flock to see college basketball's finest inside G1C, walking or driving around downtown to get there, they'll also be able to see a less glamorous side of the city. We found a number of homeless encampments just blocks away from the arena. It just makes me really uncomfortable. Sometimes they'll follow you, sometimes they shout at you and say things. But homeless advocates say the fear factor goes both ways. They're worried that with such a high profile event in town, people living on the streets may be forced to move. Those responses are always the same. You try to hide people experiencing homelessness for people visiting from out of town. I would hope that the city doesn't do that. <laughs> During last year's Ironman competition, homeless campers were asked by county park rangers to relocate away from the competition area. And they've been very cooperative with us. We checked with the city of Sacramento. They say there are no plans to perform any sweeps because of the tournament. City navigators, as they're called, routinely work with those who are homeless to find them shelter, and the city recently reopened its safe ground at Miller Park, which had been closed since the January storms. Some people attending arena events wish the city would do more. I'd love to see him do a sweep and get him off the streets for a while. But others say it won't make a difference. I'm not sure it's a good idea. It's not a long-term solution. They, they could, but I, I know that the, the political ramifications of that, it's, it's not the, the way things are going to happen. Now, timing could add to the problem this week. Just as the crowds start to arrive tomorrow for March Madness, the city's temporary weather shelter is set to close.